far, the state's uh, walleye population set to possibly get a boost. Today, the governor announcing a program to expand walleye hatchery production across the state. But the plan would cost nearly 13 million state tax dollars. Well, Fox 11's Bill Miston joins us now with the details on this proposal. Michelle, the governor's office says the plan's goal is to boost the walleye population by more than 500,000 annually by 2016. Waters of Green Bay near Bayshore County Park might be rough, but the walleye fishing is anything but. This is where the fish are. There's lots of fish out here. 519. Governor Walker is looking to improve it with the help from the Wisconsin taxpayer. The governor's office revealed its plan to increase the state's walleye population. The plan includes $10 million to expand and run state hatcheries. $2 million in grants would be available for private hatcheries. $500,000 a year to buy walleye fingerlings, $250,000 a year to expand the summer tribal youth program, and a one-time doling out of $160,000 for UW Extension water testing programs. Part of the reason none of us produce a lot of these fish now is because they're expensive to produce. The goal is to increase the stocking numbers of large fingerling or 6 to 8 inch walleyes less than one year old. We think it can really move the needle in terms of the number of fish that anglers will see out there um, and potentially reduce the pressure on some of the lakes in the northern part of the state, reduce some of the concerns that people have with tribal harvesting also. Walleye fishermen say the effort by the state is good, especially when it comes to tourism dollars. The walleye fishing is pretty big in the state of Wisconsin. I mean, all you have to do is come here tomorrow and you're going to see, or on the weekend and see how big it is. But the initiative isn't a done deal. It still needs to be approved. The Finance Committee plans to vote on the plan in the coming days. The DNR says if that happens and it's approved, the project will start in 2014. Michelle? And Bill, can you give us an idea of just how much money the fishing-related tourism brings into the state? Uh, the Green Bay Convention and Visitors Bureau uh, says while fishing dollars aren't tracked, visitors spend, spent nearly $100 million on recreational spending last year, and that number does include fishing. Now, one big walleye tournament is on the horizon. Green Bay will host Cabela's 13th National Team Championship next spring.